you know, when you see these attacks on, on TV, you don't kind of physically, personally relate to that incident. You are just shocked, disappointed, sad, and remorseful that this thing has happened. But when, when something happens on your doorstep, it kind of it kind of changes the whole situation a little bit. I don't really know how to address. I d I've got no words. Picking up the camera this morning was was hard, and I didn't really know how to start. I didn't really know how to start today's vlog, but I know I had to. I had to. I had to start it with this. Manchester is such a beautiful and vibrant city. You know, it, it's amazing. The build up of different cultures, the people, and for this monstrosity to happen to the city that I know and love is just a little bit overwhelming. You know, I'm going to continue my day as normal because I don't want to stand defeated. I want to go on as normal and, and show that life is going on as normal because at the end of the day, this is what those want. They want to disrupt our lives, but we can't stand here in defeat. Just down that pre-time trial ride this morning, I'm gonna do about an hour and a half. All that endurance, relatively easy. And it's such a nice day here in Lancashire in the UK. Everyone also seems a lot more chilled this morning, a lot more laid back. Cars just seem to be going a little bit slower. I don't know if it's the consequence of what happened last night. Everyone's just sort of feeling it a little bit. But yeah, there's some nice vibes to ride to today. So I didn't do any riding yesterday. I had planned to because I go away to Italy tomorrow and even though I'm gonna be riding, I'm not gonna be doing any you know, specific training for the next few days. So when I would normally take a rest day on a Monday, I was gonna train. However, I woke up with this like really sore throat, just general cold symptoms and I thought, oh no, this isn't good. So I decided not to ride and do as little physical activity as possible for that day. All I did was like walk the dogs in the afternoon. And now I've woke up this morning again feeling 100%. No cold symptoms, no nothing. It just shows. If I had trained yesterday, I probably would have been so much worse off today. Which is why when you're ill or not at 100% fitness, it's important to take a day off or even an extra day. There's a famous quote that says, you either take two days or two weeks off. And what that essentially means is, you take an extra rest day to recover or you train through your illness and you end up getting more ill and having to take two weeks off. But luckily this one wasn't that deep and I only had to take one day off. Today I'm riding through some small Lancashire lanes which is great for riding, it's so so nice. There's no cars, no traffic. The only thing you gotta watch out for is walkers and particularly walkers with dogs. Because the roads are so quiet and there's no cars, they just let the dogs uh, run free, which is fine. But when you're approaching them, make sure they know you're there. Cobbled bridge. Damn. Doing that one-handed with a 2,000 pound camera in your hand. What am I doing? Whoa, check this out. The olden days, a lot of the house roofs were made out of um, out of thatch, which is kind of like I don't know a grass kind of material. Then, as time moved on, thatched roofs started to get taken away because inevitably they were dangerous; they would set on fire easily. And there's not that many left now around in this area. And unfortunately, that's what looks like has just happened at that thatch house up there. I said that I wasn't going to talk about and to dwell on the events that happened last night, but when something something like this happens so close to home you just can't you just can't help but appreciate the things that you have around you and it just puts everything into perspective about what you should be grateful for the fact that you're waking up today breathing you know we're lucky we're lucky so at nine o'clock last night i stood on and broke my main my main sd card my 64 gigabyte sd card i've got a 32 as well which is currently what's in this camera now but that's not much of a storage capacity particularly with going away to um with going away to italy tomorrow so 9 30 last night i went onto amazon and bought this new 64 gigabyte sd card and it was here and it was here this morning that's incredible cool
heading over to Mike's house this afternoon. You all know Mike now, he's been in the vlog. Uh, he's been in the vlog quite a few times, but he also has the DJI Mavic Pro, which is the drone that I use. However, I've only got one battery. He's got like three or four. I intend on using the drone quite a lot when I get to Italy. So I asked him if I could borrow one of his batteries. Then I will have two for my trip. actually picked up two spare batteries off Michael. That means now I've got three, which gives me about an hour's worth of flight time. It should be, should be more than enough. Okay, I've got about I've got about two hours of work to do here now, and then it's time to to head off to the time trial, and also pack my suitcase ready for tomorrow morning because I'm leaving pretty early. I so far haven't packed anything, and Georgia always tells me I need to pack things the night before, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crack on with my work, and then it's time for the fun stuff things to happen. Just setting off to the time trial now. Since I last picked up this camera, I've had a, a fairly stressful couple of hours. I uh, I haven't flown my drone for a couple of weeks just because of the weather, and I'm not really been sort of around to fly the drone. I've not really had any reason to fly the drone. After all, the drone is is a tool to improve the vlogs. You know when when it's needed, and I just haven't really done any, anything that's needed the drone in the last couple of weeks. Anyway, I went out to test it today and. It just won't connect. It, my controller won't connect to my to my drone. Now, yes, I've tried all the usual stuff, reconnecting the controller, but nothing seems to be working. I was even onto the DJI live support. Just before I left, I did a factory reset. You know, maybe there was a glitch when I last did a firmware update. Uh, but yeah, when we get home, we're going to test it out, and hopefully, fingers crossed, the drone's going to be the drone's going to be working because that is probably going to be one of my main tools over the next few days whilst I'm riding around Lake Como. Sorry, Lake Lake Chomo. I, I had someone needs to tell me someone needs to tell me how to pronounce that word. But yeah, kind of a little bit stressed about that. But anyway, we're off to the time trial. Time to focus up. I haven't got my uh, GoPro on the bike today, hoping it's going to save me a couple of valuable seconds. And I'm also not going to comment on the weather. I'm also not going to comment how, how fast I think tonight's going to be. Whenever I say it's going to be fast, it's slow. Whenever I say it's going to be slow, it, it's fast. Let's wait and see. But the legs are feeling good. I'm looking forward to it. Let's, let's do this. Mate, talk to me about these bars. It's... Uh bit of pl uh, plywood and some tape. You've made your own aero bars. Yeah. Now we can go. Do you reckon it helped? <laughs> I don't know, I went slower this week, but I think that's because I've got fatigue legs like. <laughs> All right, so that was, that was either just under or just over 21 minutes. I'm hoping so much it was just under, but either way, either way, that was a personal best tonight again. That's like three PBs in a row, I think. No, two. Either two or three personal bests in a row, week after week. So, now I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with how I rode tonight. I think I paced it almost perfectly. Maybe, maybe went out a little bit too hard into the headwind, but really not that much. There wasn't a lot else that I could do tonight. I would normally stay for the official results to come in. However, I need to head home and start packing. Okay, so far, so good. Successful flight, the drone stayed connected. I'm gonna cut the vlog short here. I'm gonna end the vlog here tonight because I need an early night. I'm up early in the morning and I'm probably not gonna sleep anyway because I'm so excited. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're excited for Italy, if you're as excited as I am, please drop a thumbs up on this video. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.